Hi, I'm Veronica Vance. Coming up, we head downtown for some fabulous surf and turf. Show you how to make your next family reunion a blast. And speaking of blast, we check out the Motown Winter Blast, so stay tuned. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau. Driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com. The D has all kinds of great restaurants, but today we are downtown and we're doing a little spin on the classic surf and turf. Up first, Rub Barbecue on West Adams. Hi, my name is Randy Yona, owner of Rub Barbecue Pub in Detroit. Just a great tip from Rub Barbecue Detroit, we do currently have valet parking for all your game day needs. What's, what's the significance of the saddles here? The saddle brings to Detroit our good old down south barbecue. Which is what you guys do here, Correct. Barbecue. That's what we do best. We bring down south right into Detroit. And so what are some of your most popular item, menu items? Most popular, if you're talking appetizers, the burn ends. By the end of the day, we're completely out. Yeah, so they're awesome. They're awesome. Saying. They're phenomenal. <laughs> Beef brisket, pulled pork, and of course our famous ribs that we're known for. So Randy, tell me a little about the place, kind of a rustic decor, I love it. What we did here, we brought in a little rustic, but yet modern look. Mm -hmm. We kept a lot of Detroit stuff, the original stuff that was here. So they've got a whole smorgasbord of food off your menu here. It looks like some good stuff we're eating over here. Yeah. Over here we got the bases loaded, beef brisket, our famous andouille sausage, side of mm -hmm. beans and coleslaw. Here we have a sandwich, which is a Harwell with sweet potato fries. So the Harwell sandwich is after, of course. Good old Ernie. Good old Ernie. Yeah. If you see on our menu, go to rub, rub bbq mm -hmm. All our sandwiches are named after popular Detroit natives. All our meats we buy locally, Eastern Market. We try to keep all our business on a local level. So what to affect the flavor? Is that sort of one of your secret ingredients? It is one of our secret ingredients, but I'll give you this. We do yeah. use cherry, apple, and hickory, depending on what we're smoking. Oh, yeah. give it a Brings out the flavor. flavor. So it's a pretty long bar you've got here. Well, there's a little history behind this bar. Years ago, this building was known as the Brass Rail, which was known to have the longest bar in Detroit. So we decided, hey, let's go ahead and replicate it and bring yeah. the longest bar back. Also, we brought 30 taps of beer, which is pretty much unheard of, which is yeah. the, probably the most amount of taps in the whole city of Detroit. So for barbecue, you got to have sauce. And these are rub sauces? These are six of Rub's homemade sauces that are made in-house all from the finest ingredients and spices. We've got Memphis, which is a sweet sauce. Mm -hmm. In Detroit, you get a little bit of kick of sweet, spicy. KC is more of a ketchup base, as you know. Apple, your good old apple. We yeah. cut fresh apples, put in the sauce. Cool. Carolina, mustard base. Texas, one's got a little heat to it. That one, so Texas is the hot one in Detroit. is sweet and spicy like me. Correct, there you go. <laughs> Okay, now on to the good stuff. All righty, let's talk. Okay, so this is This rubs. right here is our full slab of St. Louis ribs. Everything we do here is dry rubbed with a side of sweet potato mash, our famous greens, southern style greens, mm. which we make in-house, and our baked beans. Ribs get smoked in the smoker for about five to six oh, hours. Okay. Yes. This right here we have is a beef brisket, beef brisket, which is smoked in a smoker anywhere from 14 to 16 hours. The pink right here, that's how you know that it's authentically smoked. And then we have the pulled pork over here, which we smoke anywhere from 12 to 14 hours. And then the burnt ends you Burnt ends, which is our most. So I'm not crazy in liking the burn, the burn pieces. No, and dig in, okay. nice and tender. Oh, oh that is Phenomenal. fabulous. Yep. You want to try some? Mmm. I'll mine. Usually brisket, it's hard to tear apart. Oh, that wasn't at all. No. You just saw I sliced Very that like tender. butter. Mmm, that's super tender. And then, of course, our Detroit sauce is our most popular. 
each bite. And pretty much that can, it's settled with everything. It's settled with everything. I'm going to try a little bit of that on the pork. So again, the pink part, not undercooked, it just means authentically smoked. Smoked. Mm. Oh. oh, I like it. Very good. Nice. I'm going to dig in. That's how we know a real barbecue person. <laughs> Mm. Oh, these are tender and juicy Very too. Very tender and juicy. Delicious. All our meats, we Delicious. Look butcher at that. everything in-house here. So, now we know Rub Barbecue Pub in Detroit for awesome finger looking good barbecue. And now for the surf part of our turf, we're going to enjoy a little seafood at Tom's Oyster Bar on Jefferson right across from the Renson. Hi, I'm Chris Verzi, your host of Tom's Oyster Bar Detroit. Where your place in the bee where you can get served. Here's a tip. On game night, park here and take our shuttle to the game. On non-event night, park here for $5 or after 6 for free anywhere on the street. Also, Chris, I'm greeted by a wonderful seafood smell when I come in here. That's and right. almost reminiscent of like a New England type feel. Of decor. And that's right, and I think that's what we uh, what we had been going for uh, when we opened back in 2000. This is yeah. a place that I think is sophisticated enough to get a fantastic meal mm -hmm. at a reasonable price, but you don't have to come in a suit and tie or a dress. You know, come as you are. Yes, and you've got a great wraparound bar. You can get food here, drinks, just come relax. Absolutely. Everything from sushi, seafood, the grill. We've even got snacks and appetizers. It's a varied menu here in the D, but it's a great place to come for surf. As you'll see, we do a lot of different things on our menu for our lunch, uh, for our dinner. You can get an awesome turkey sandwich, a turkey huh? wrap. You can get wonderful salads here, in addition to all the seafood. And so you can either dine down here, or you can go upstairs. In the That's right, months. during the season. So another reason to come here, the fabulous view up here. Just look at this view, yeah. like you said. So you can uh, eat up here, you get a full bar, you put tables out or dining, a yep, dancing, we're gonna have what our, do you do, the whole exactly. kitchen caboodle? We have, we have a full kitchen here, a mm -hmm. full bar, restrooms for everybody. The deck is a wonderful place for you to come, have a great view, have a great meal, and see our city. And the People Mover comes yep. right along here. Jump up, jump up. Hey, at home in the D. <laughs> <laughs> Could it be more perfect? <laughs> I, I don't think so, yes. I live in the area, downtown Detroit, and I love the seafood here. Come here frequently. Detroit is is moving up, and I'm happy that Tom's Oyster Bar is a part of this. Here are the oysters. Wow! Now, so how many oysters are you going to go through in a day? I couldn't even tell you the exact number of oysters we're going to go through, but it's a lot. We have several bins that are full of anywhere between 75 to 150 oysters, depending on their size, and we'll go through all of them in generally one to two days' time. Wow! This is James, an expert shucker. He, by the way, I was going to say he made that look so easy. It looked like it was just. Popped it open, give it a little twist, and there you go. That's exactly it. I like the northern ones. They're a little plumper, a little saltier. Southern ones, a little, little gentler, mm -hmm. not as much salt. Now, James, do you eat oysters? No. No, James doesn't eat them. No. Either. See, no. I will. No. Now, we have, we have you guys here. Do you, want to try one, Mick? Are you, are you, are you brave? You can Literally. go with the hot sauce. Mm -hmm. You definitely go with the lemon. You can go with the horseradish cocktail sauce here. Mm -hmm. I like that the best. I'm, I'm okay with hot sauce, but I find it destroys the flavor. Right. Just a dab will do you, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And this is really, really delicious. Now, you don't have to do this, and some purists don't. So, ready? Purists don't, but. but to the D. Yes, yeah, to, to the D. To the D. Here, here we go. go. Okay. That's delicious. Mm. Almost shrimpy in a way, aren't they? Nothing to be you afraid of. You turned me around. Oh, it's, <laughs> wow. James? No. That was, <laughs> No, James, really. It's, oh, it's delicious. So come here. So some of the things that we're really proud of here at Tom's Oyster Bar is we're getting everything here from Eastern Market. Our fresh herbs, our vegetables, our eggplant to make our eggplant parmesan. Look at that. It's not quite ready to go yet, but where else can you get that here in the D? And lime juice to make our own key lime pie, which we make right here. I have my New York strip steaks. We have veal. We don't do barbecue here. That's better left for some places. But we do grill a steak and we grill a darn good one. Well, oh, Chris, I love this little behind the scenes point, point of view. Gramsci is making our blue cheese encrusted uh, New York strip steak as we speak. He works so much in the kitchen. Those are actually burn right. marks. Those are not, not that's not tattooed. Your mom would be happy with <laughs> Tom's Oyster Bar too because we're using fresh vegetables and we're not cooking them to death. This is not a commercial. I, I know, exactly. <laughs> 
Okay, Chris, so ooh la la, these are your, some of your famous appetizers here. Famous appetizers, and, and they actually, some of them eat like a meal, to oh. be honest, Veronica. So here we have. Really? Yeah. This is enough food for a meal. I think so, because this is, our, oh, well, not if you're me, but hey. <laughs> Uh, the, this is our cold plate appetizer, and mm -hmm. this really is one of those. This is surf. You definitely get down in the day here. Yeah. I mean, it has a range it's of beautiful. salmon and pâtés and smoked uh, mackerel and peppered mackerel and a, and a northern Michigan whitefish sausage. These are an, another oyster sampler here. We have some of the blue points that we had. We had some James River. And then, mm. and then this is my personal favorite. It's our peel and eat shrimp. Okay, and what we do with these is when we prepare them, instead of just boiling them in water or blanching them, we actually boil them in a dark beer. They have a slight bitterness from the beer, uh, but that beautiful shrimpy flavor, and uh, and really, again, more surf in the deep. Fish, sausage. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. It doesn't have a heavy, greasy taste like a lot of sausage. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a light taste. There must be the fish in it that does that. I, I, I would I would imagine mm. so. Yes. I'm gonna eat the other bite too. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's uh, beer shrimp. Mm -hmm. So no plate, no lemon or anything. Just Nothing. I, I, you know, oh, not your round. Mm -hmm. So mm. we're really proud of that. Very good. And again, mm -hmm. yeah, it, what it is, it's a very, very delicate good. shrimpy flavor. It yes. is. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. And then here's our salmon pate. Mm. No, I love salmon. Okay. More of a bold flavor. A very but bold. Still oh, my oh, goodness, that's delicious. Yeah, isn't it? Now I can eat that for breakfast and dessert. Absolutely. <laughs> That is delicious. Oh, that's I think that's my favorite thing. So there you go, our version of Surf and Turf in the D. We've got our fabulous barbecue at Rub Barbecue over on West Adams, and of course our surf at Tom's Oyster Bar in Jefferson, which as you pointed out also has some, also has some turf in it. It I does, see. it does. <laughs> so anyway, hope to see you guys down here. Yeah. Right? Cheers. Cheers. this nifty little gem that happens every year in Detroit. It's a free family reunion planning seminar. So Jennifer, family reunion is a big deal in Detroit. What do we got going on here today? Today we have our free family reunion planning seminar. Um, it's an event that we do twice a year. It's usually at the end of September or beginning of October in the fall. Mm -hmm. And in the spring, it's usually at the end of March or the beginning of April. Yeah. Well, one key thing that you mentioned is that it's free. You come here, all you have to do is pre-register. Mm -hmm. um, and you can do that by calling our hotline at, at the Convention and Visitors Bureau. And it's free for you and another family member to come and listen to things like how do I plan my family reunion, um, trying to work with lo local vendors, We'll give you tips and hints on how to do that, and it is. It's all free. At Kobo. It's always in Kobo. It's always at Kobo. It's, it's one of the only venues that's large enough to host this awesome event. So. <laughs> the registration happens and then yeah. you get, you're giving out information as well. Absolutely. When you register you get a bag. Mm -hmm. um, inside the bag is a outline of the presentations that you're going to hear. So it's a take home piece. So even if you're here and you're listening and you can't really remember what was presented, you've got a hard copy um, of the presentation to go back to for reference. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a list of all of our exhibitors that's in the bag. So oh, you can nice. always use that as a reference piece as well. Mm -hmm. And we also have some different things like pencils and Detroit folders Fun and some stuff. Detroit yeah, memorabilia that you can take back also. And actually, this is a twofold purpose. We keep tabs on you the whole entire way throughout your planning process. And yeah. in the end, we give everybody coming to your family reunion from out of town and locals a bag, a pencil, postcards, different things so you can use that for your reunion. Sandy Ingram from the Williams Family Reunion. All right. Tellis with the Whitfield Family Reunion. So what other things do you do to make the event fun? Well, one thing that really gets the crowd going is that we give prizes periodically throughout the seminar to keep people uh, aware of what's going on and to win some fun things. We give away water bottles, uh, planners, uh, bags, all sorts of things that can, a family reunion planner can use. Regina Lockridge from the Lockridge Family Reunion, which I have to say on her form it says she is the number one Veronica Vance fan. Hi. 
are you providing food? Food, <laughs> yeah. Free breakfast on Free top breakfast. of everything. Free breakfast, yeah. Wow. Um, we give away a continental <laughs> breakfast, so you can come in, have a light breakfast in the morning, uh, listen to what we have to say, and then afterward, also win some exciting prizes in our trade show that we offer after the education. And you're going to have a prize board for that? We what? do. We have a prize board and all of our vendors um, donate prizes, things like overnight hotel stays, um, tickets to attractions, mm -hmm. tickets to different mm -hmm. events and things going on around town are all up for grabs if you, uh, if you come to the seminar. We actually work with over 800 partners and those partners consist of hotels in Metro Detroit, restaurants, transportation companies, tour companies, t-shirt companies, catering companies, and the list goes on. Whatever it is you're looking for, please check that, that box off. The parking fees, is that something that the hotels usually negotiate? Usually not. I'm going to say nine and a half times out of ten, mainly because most hotels have an outside company. Well, that was informative, and now you've awesome. got two breakout sessions going on, right? We sure do. Um, this one is called Discovering the D. This actually takes uh, reunion planners into some things that they can do around the around town mm -hmm. that may be unique, or as a lifelong Detroiter, you may never know existed. And then the other seminar is called Hotels 101. It talks about um, meeting with hotels, some questions that you should be asking. It talks about um, some terms and terminology that you should know going into that process. I say everything is negotiable. You have done in the past, you always do a Marriott property, and you're coming to Detroit and you want to do Marriott here, let them know that. If you have 25 rooms and your group is going to be there for two nights, then that's 50 room nights. So when you call, they may say, oh, you have 30 room nights. Well, that doesn't mean 30 rooms. That means you probably have 15 rooms, you know, at two nights each. So the event continues with a train show, a full-out train show. Absolutely. You're able to come actually visit some of those places and services that would help you with your family reunion. See, I think yeah. I'm going to take a, take a peek around. Take a stroll. It's exciting. You might even pick up some goodies along the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Veronica. <laughs>
chilly. Yeah. We've got uh, comfort zone. So okay. inside there, we have three music stages that run. 54 music acts will play throughout the weekend. There's fabulous yeah. restaurants as well. Not just your typical festival fair, but yeah. we have Brazilian steakhouses, seafood markets, Middle Eastern. You know, Detroit is back. Uh, so many new employees in the district. Great corporations yeah. have moved in, like Quicken Loans recently, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, Galaxy, Marketing Associates, Health Plan, Meridian Health Plan. So many new employees, new energy in the downtown, and we are thrilled the Winter Blast showcases all the, the great developments. You know, we expect to have nearly 100,000 people over three days That's in downtown fantastic. Detroit. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much, Josh. Great to see you. So we've got everyone here in line to get fit, literally get fit physically, and they're getting fit for free snowshoeing. They get to go out there and go around the thing right here in the heart of the city, and it's so much fun. And the line's moving really quickly, too. Okay, so I understand you're here from Brazil for the first time, correct? Yes. And so what is she's an exchange student living with you? Yes, she is. We're a host family and we live in Ramelis and she's attending Ramelis High School with my daughter Alexis. <laughs> she will be with us for a whole year. And so and you brought her downtown yes, to the motel with her? Yes, for the winter plan. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, I am. What do you think about what's your opinion of Detroit? It's a really nice place. Yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. And is this your first time seeing snow? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so are you having a blast here at the festival? It's pretty cool right in the heart of the city. Yeah. Okay, so how cool is this? Right here on the street, we've got a full-blown carnival. We've got a roller coaster, carousel, all kinds of rides. I mean, this is just as much fun as any festival in the summer. We've got the snow. <laughs> thing you don't see in the heart of the city too often. Dog sledding. They're giving demonstrations. They're answering questions. They're going to go around the thing a couple times. Something really cool if you haven't seen it before. So tell me, you've been coming down here for years. You come every year to the Motown Winter Blast? Every year. What keeps you coming back? Detroit. Detroit? I love Detroit. Yeah? It's the greatest place. We'll be right in the top five in a couple of years. So this is great. We've got marshmallow roasting. People are making s'mores, and you're about to do this. Tell me how you're enjoying the Winter Blast. It's awesome. We've been here for like two hours now, and I haven't got cold yet. The weather is beautiful, and the festival is fantastic. <laughs> and of course, this is the creme de la creme of roasting yes. marshmallows out and out on the street in downtown. It's fabulous. Yes, it is. <laughs> I brought my kids down here today. It's a very good life experience. All right, that's what I like here. You having fun too? Yeah. All right. Hey, <laughs> <Okay>, family. <laughs> so they've got several tents throughout the winter blast. You can go inside, get warm, get something to drink, grab a bite, do a little shopping, and if you can hear it, enjoy live entertainment. They've got fans throughout the whole winter blast continuously. You can jam out to the tunes. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about the Winter Blast? Going ice skating and the food and the environment and just how like happy everyone is. 
Yeah. I like the scarves and stuff. Have. Yeah, I know some cute things. I'm gonna check it out too. <laughs> All right, well, I'll let you get back to having fun. You too. Thank you. <laughs> Detroit, this is sort of the star of the ice show. It's huge. This is one of the biggest ice sculptures I think I've ever seen. Now you see what I'm talking about. Winter in the D is not that cold. It heats up every February with a Motown winter blast. that's our show. Thanks for watching. I'm Veronica Vance. And remember, if you'd like more information on any of the places we visited, log on to visitdetroit.com. So until I see you next time, go out and explore on your own and discover the D. To learn about discounts and special offers for featured attractions, plus how to get copies of Visit Detroit magazine, click on visitdetroit.com. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com. <laughs>